Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and welcome to this Godot 4 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your project for pixel art games. Let's start by creating, I've got Godot 4.4 open here. We're gonna start by creating a new project. We'll call it pixel art setup. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to pull up Godot 4 tutorials, select that folder and create. Now we're making a 2D game. So over here on the left, we're gonna create a 2D root node. I'm just gonna call this world. Hit enter, I'm gonna do control S to save. Now if we run the game, it's going to ask us to select a main scene. We'll just select current, which will be world. And this will be the scene that it runs. Okay, now we need some pixel art. I have some over here on my other screen. I'm gonna drag over a character right here, just a little bit of pixel art that I did. And I'm going to drag this into the world. Now, if we run the game, you can see Godot automatically creates a sprite for us, puts it in the world, but it's way small, right? That's way too small. So how are we gonna fix that? Our room is way too big. We'll come into our project, project settings, and you'll need to turn on advanced settings for this. Once you've turned on advanced settings, come to window, and right here we can set the viewport width and height. A common resolution, a common 16 by 9 resolution for pixel art games would be something like 360 by 180. You can also do something bigger like six four, like double these, 640 by 360. Um, yeah, three, six, no, three, it's 320 by 180, excuse me. You can also double these like 640 by 360. Now let's close and run. And now uh, the sprite is correctly sized for our window, but our window is way small now. So if we come into our project settings, what we can do is we can set the width override and height override, and this will stretch up the window. And I'm gonna do 1280 by 720, which is going to be four times this resolution. Now we're gonna end up back with our existing problem, which is where the window will be too big. So we need to stretch that smaller window to fit and expand this bigger window that we've set. We can do that with stretch mode right here, and we'll set it to canvas items. And we'll close and run. And now you can see our window is now scaled up and our pixel art is scaled as well. And this is times four. However, our pixel art is all blurry, so we need to fix that. If we come into the project settings and search filter up here at the top, under textures, we have the default texture filter and it's set to linear. Since we're doing pixel art, we want it set to nearest. And close and run the game again. And now we have nice, crisp pixel art scaled up to an appropriate size for our game. Now, this video is almost over, uh, so if you want, you can end the video now. I've got some courses in the description. You can check out um, other videos here on YouTube if you wanna check those out. But you can stay for a little bit of extra info as well. So I'm going to actually click on this eagle small, and I'm gonna do Control D to duplicate that node. Then I'm gonna move it over here, and then I'm going to rotate it by holding Control and clicking and dragging. Okay, now let's run the game again. Now what you'll notice is that this rotation has happened within the pixel resolution of our screen. And so it's actually a pretty clean rotation, right? And so technically our game, even though it's scaled up and it's pixel art, is technically using all of the pixels available to it to display this sprite. That's why we get pretty clean edges here while we're rotating this. Essentially, 
were cheating a little bit. If we were on like original hardware, like a Game Boy, you would not be able to rotate it and have it look this nice because if you were to rotate it, it would have to try and draw that rotated sprite with the pixels available on the screen. And that would be the same amount of pixels that we have to display the sprite. And in this case, we have four times as many pixels. So Godot is taking advantage of that. Now, usually, I mean, maybe this is what you want and maybe it's not. If it's not what you want, if you want it to be more uh, true to the original resolution that we've set, you can come into the project settings and go back to window. And instead of doing canvas items, do viewport. Now, if we run the game, you'll see that it's a lot more distorted here, but it's using that 320 by 180 amount of pixels. It's not using the 1280 by 720 amount of pixels. It's using a more, um, I guess, true to like an original hardware because if you're on a game boy or something you would only have so many pixels to work with but since we're scaling it up you can choose you can choose if you want to do it this way or the other way and there are benefits and drawbacks to both i tend to find that i don't usually do this method but i wanted to show what that looked like so i'm going to go back and set it to canvas items and run again and now you can see it's much better uh, display of those pixels, but not necessarily true to like uh, maybe a pixel art purist would be disappointed in the way that this was drawn. So for you pixel art purists, there's the other approach as well. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something and that it was useful to you. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out some of my other videos or the courses on my website. I'll talk to you later.